Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. <laughs> Time for another one. It's the Sixers and the Bulls, as right now the Sixers are at Chicago playing against the Bulls at the United Center. The Bulls have always been a tough brownout, the blowout in between those two guys, but the Sixers always have gotten through a denial crush in between those teams. But it looks like they're now playing at Chicago. Will it be another loss or will they have the run on board? Well, it may not be anything, but that may be tough for them. If they wanted to win it all, then you gotta get right into the game. And with all without even questions asked out there, the answer may be determining with the ball and the range. Now we welcome back here is OJ. Hey OJ, it's great seeing you this time. And also with the plays of this part, all the highlights. From the uh, NBA playoffs, this part of the uh, season is turning out great. What do you think will be now? I'm pretty sure that might be the time of right between the range here of Sixers and Bulls, but I think the Bulls have never made it to the finals that far since 1999. And I have always had known that they are definitely putting up a last dance here. They're just going to be pulling up the three best players in this performing run. DeMar DeRozan, Nikola Vucevic, and Zach Levine. It might be all those three players that might be on the uh, tough lookout range. Well, we might be finding another way out there, and we will see who will try to face off with the win here. If there's a chance, in between the Bulls and the Sixers. So, it's time to spruce things up as we start the game here at the United Center. Let's get going for the third game of the NBA playoffs. And Chicago is putting up a nice way in the stratus of this part of the Sears Tower of the in downtown of Chicago. And this NBA playoffs is presented by State Farm, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And right now, for me and OJ with me found, on the sideline will be David Aldridge from, from repair reporting on the sideline. David? Patrick Williams was a five-star recruit out of high school. Now, scoring came easily for him, but he chose Florida State to learn how to play defense. He said offense will take care of itself. It takes somebody special to sit down on defense. Stops are what win the game. But Kevin, that two-way game saw him taken fourth in the 2020 draft. Yeah, love to, yeah, see. Love to see that one. Thank you. Thank you. Looking for lineups right now will be the key matchups in between the range of Joel Embiid and Nikola Vucevic. Those players have only have a higher scouting point, but what's your take for you, your two guys? Well, my folks to take it from here, it was Zach Levine that always have gotten a great solution out there so far. But I think right now, at this moment, I think there might be another chance for the Bulls to try to win it up through. If they can do it again, well, they have it all sent over down. The Sixers wins the tip-off here, and we are underway at Chicago United Center. All filled up and ready to go. Here's Harris, back to Feigl, right over to Harden. Harden has always scored and made the buzz beater here since the last game of, of his season for the playoffs. The second game was quite well enough, but the Bulls was, was pushing their way around the board. They already played like a pro. They do. They always act like they did. But sometimes it gets things in the way. Well, now you all ever know that it might be a true fascinating player that definitely had it all. Lee Rosen making that two-pointer shot here, and he's like a just like a tough worker that he played without the San Antonio Spurs. Harris likes to rent Embiid. Embiid always knows that he's the process of this man that turned out to be his time and effort. Can be the only man from the franchise player that gives them all. And it's called a jump ball in between Vucevic and Joel Embiid. Shot clock is stopped and the game clock is stopped. This could be very dangerous out there. Might be looking for another one. 
Chicago wins. Chicago didn't make the jump ball as Sixers wins the jump ball here. Here's Levine. Right over to Caruso. Caruso on Tobias Harris. Vucevic against the UMB. Does it move back to Vucevic. Scores the drive in the paint. And the ball sleep bites two. Grace Hall turns out to be just like him. Wow. The Bulls know their answer to their strength. Harden right back to Harris. Harris back to Maxi. Back to MB. The man around him and he gets away. That will be MB with a second bucket for the first bucket. This all changes out to be everybody who he really wants to be here. I'm not sure what's going on, but it looks like this is all changing out just like they did here before. Does move against Harden. Screen on Caruso. To release. He fires across and they have the lead up by two. The Bulls know their strength in number. It looks like the Bulls want to make some history here, but they really want it all. Ball oh, in control, out of bounds for Harden as he couldn't save it. It's a first turnover on Philadelphia. What a play here. Another change up here in the range here for the look of Chicago. He's already have gone a lot of hard, tough impact. But now they all know that the Bulls wanted to head their way to the second round. Vucevic on Feibel. Over is Caruso. Maxi in the corner to cover. Screen avoid. Caruso still in control. Three to shoot. And no foul gains on Philadelphia. It's MB with the ball. The rebound is putting up a lot of hard offense to defense. But that time for defense to offense, there wasn't any call. It was just a clean defense. That's all that turned out. Harris over Vucevic. Scoring big drive here. And it's Harris making the first bucket here. One or two minutes here for the first period, as the Rosen will have the coverage to take it for the error lane. Screen will be Levine, but it won't be not. He will be able to make the drive. Vucevic really knows that Zach Levine was all carried out. Not just like him, but he's like, why? Right, right away, quick. Harden, back to Bible. Harris outside, fades, finds Embiid over Rusevic, and that's another two-point score for Embiid, and it's Harris with the assist. A lot of great communication out there, just really, really wanted to, like, try to work it around better, but I think it might be very tough for them to keep an eye on them. Does it for three. It's rebounded by Joel Embiid. Embiid to Harden. Last minute left for the first period. Still tied up now. They're like in between the neck and neck matchups because the four versus fifth seat is tough. And a kickball turned to be on Caruso. Now the new changes are being released as five will be checked out and Green was sucked in. And the Bulls are changing another lineup as Dasamu and Caruso switches over to point guard. And Kobe White, the veteran of University of North Carolina is checked in. And B just got, got hacked by Vucevic and a great solid D. DeRozan over Harden, rebounded by Harden. Maxi back to Green. Now it goes right back to Harris. Finding over Green, bounce pass and B rips around Caruso has the ball. It's a wild, wild lucky run. Nice D on Harris. No score yet for, for Bulls and Sixers, but Maxi driving in, scores a drive, and a dunk is released. Maxi with the first book of here just knows that he can definitely uh, try to stop the pressure on the player. This offense is like no work done. Vucevic over Embiid, and he's fouled. Embiid receives his first personal, and a first team foul is on Philadelphia. Vucevic will get to the free throw line to shoot two, stopping the clock at just 2.8 seconds. Yeah, almost that time, right away, right there. There's the bump, and that was a hard hit. That was very, very intense how this all turned out. But I'm pretty sure we might, we might have to avoid that one with the D. 
You don't want to get caught by that. First free throw off target. New changes being released for the Sixers and the Bulls. Three players come off the court. Three players come on the court. Millsap, Yang, and Cork Moss. And the same thing goes with the Bulls. All five players checked out. And Vucevic moves to point four position. That's Tristan Thompson. And the other players are checked in. Also with Levine moving to, moving to the guard. Can't make the two free throws. And they will have to close the first quarter. 10 to 8. Philadelphia leading by two. We'll have, to, we'll have to keep an eye on that one. Those players can be very hard in between the dynamics of the duos in between. And we'll be right back after this one. We'll be right back for next quarter to be released. I think I need to, you know, be more aggressive. Um, you know, just look to impose myself, just look to dominate. I guess I need to go back to having fun and just dominate then. His average on his second ball availability for Joel and B. I'm pretty sure he has gotten it just got a tiny bit off the off the chain a little bit. But I may be thinking that what else could Joel and B do? There might be some other choice. If they wanted to like switch it around a bit, well, they gotta go for an armor attack. Here's White. He has lost the ball. It's Corkmoss with the steal. Harden, three on one attack. Millsap right to the A. Back to Green. Moves back to Korkmaz as he's already got just gone stepping out of bounds since the last game that gotten denied with a trouble release fit. That was a bigger hard impression out there. Not just like he, it's not only him, but it's all the other players who have just played here on strong defense. It was very hard for him to try to make a tricky setup, but that's what they need to do to try to help it better. Levine inside, slides the dunk, and he goes right from the lane. Wow, Zach Levine, you can feel the beat. The Bulls are liking Zach Levine so far. He's like a, he's like a tough on muscle. Green against the other player, forgot his name is. Millsap, right to court Mize. Around Levine, oh, get off of him! Get off of him for court Mize. And he has his first bucket here. No foul is given up for Philadelphia yet. It's still clean, but there is no cigar on that run play. That drive could be a lot not hard to impact. In a two, Williams, another miss by Chicago. Millsap will get his first rebound here as he dish off to Harden. Harden right to Green. Up over again is Millsap. Back to Green. Again over Williams and he scores again. That'll be his first bucket for Danny Green as they lead up by six. Those players are definitely tired right now in the first half. The series is not just done yet, but they really need to work their way around. Green in a driving pursuit, and they are on the roll, trailing by four. Harden back to Millsap. Millsap right to Green. Green right to Harden. Bounce pass to Millsap. Fades, goes right back to Green. Fade again, and Millsap two, release bit is off target. And turns around the other way. Kobe White, looking for his first bucket of the scoring game since he didn't make it, since he scored just a couple of bit in first and second games. And still no answer for Kobe White. Kobe White really have gotten, uh, gotten worse here on offense. But there is no answer. They really got them blown away here, but they really need to go right by it. Harden, over to Millsap. Again, shooting at the drive, and it's Millsap with the first bucket. Harden will take the first assist here, as it's now 18-12 lead. Timeout first call by Chicago Bulls, with a minute and 44 to remain. He's only the better player that does, does have it here. He knows it all. For that time, I, I was not I was not even concerning of what had just happened. But for all he has known, it was just like, just hard. I'm really, I'm really uh, not 
not kidding right now. But they, they really got, got a lot of like worse plays on offense and defense. But now they need to know they really wanted to like switch it up a bit and go with another attack. And of course, uh, to me, phone, with all the first part of the Anime Insanity Invitational, what does it feel like? What the situation turned out to be for Bo? Well, I was very scared of what happened because if, if Bo was never not going to compete here, then we may not, then we may know that she's already been eliminated and we may not see any teams to be eliminated here for, for the month of April. That's because of all I've always known. It was very hard for them. Oh man, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're, we're trying to like gain more information, but well, you'll you'll find out your way for part two. I guess you might be correct. Well, you might you might find out if there's another chance. Here's Jones Jr. covered by Niang. Vucevic on MB. Back to Vucevic. And again, Dasimu. Driving, scoring, jams, no good for Dasimu as he missed up again. He's really not just looking himself quite clear, but this all came out momentum out there. It's very hard to try to work their way around. Back to Fievel, five to shoot over Dasimu. And he is fouled, and that goes on Joel Embiid with the loose ball. A second personal, no team foul is given off to the Sixers. Yeah, too hard to make a shot out there, but that was already had stunned him for his, his pursuity. Not just like him, he's not getting his, his good play on defense, but that's when you need to know, you have to be careful. Whoa, Jones Jr., look at that play. One more angle look. He's already has shown him so far. Right around the world, all accounted in there. And that was a slam dunk presented by AT&T 5G, the ultimate internet mobile access from the average of your worldwide accessibility to make your cellular go with even more strength network. Niang right back to Bible. Five to shoot. Yang in in trouble, over again, a beat, scores fade, and it's over again with another two-point releasement of Joel Embiid. The process is already standing out here at that time, he needs to know more from his gaming, but that's what he has going for. Lucy the John fight on Harris, does it up, layup, short on a carry, and it's Embiid with the ball. Baptiste Feibel really wants to see that block, but he has never been scoring out here so far. Harris with the ball, and he will hold it from here as the first half is closed. It's 20 to 14. Philadelphia leading by six. Those chances are now could be very tied up in the neck of the run, but that may be opportunity to give it all. Thanks very much. With Sixers coach Doc Rivers. Doc, you've got to be pleased with the play of Joel Embiid so far. We'll see if that adjustment gets made, Doc. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be right back with the second half. It's 20 to 14. So much plays coming out here, just between the tricks. But now it's time for a recap of Bulls and Sixers to see how well they did on their run. Statistics have updated. It's time to send you back to Chicago to start the second half. Thank you for joining us here for the halftime performing of the recap in between. Looking forward in the run, it's now a 20 to 14 score. The Sixers lead by six and we start the third quarter of the second half. Glad you make us here for today. 
as we all know that the process of Joel Embiid has already turned out to be just like him. Well, I know that Joel Embiid really knows that he just got got a great strength out here, but just got a little little mistake here. It's okay to make the mistakes because nobody is perfect. Ex except if the player is already doing the right thing, not going wander off here or getting getting attacked by by the by the guidance. Zach Levine, what a start here for the third quarter. This little bucket is turning out to your strength felt there. What a way to make a make a play drive here for Zach Levine. Maxi, pass pass, bounce pass to Joel Embiid, double man, back to Feibel. Back to Maxi. Maxi rolling over to Harding. And with the shot, it's off loose. 417 left to play. Caruso needs to find someone to get an open three or two. Caruso, Levine for three. Bam! What a clean shot! And it's Levine with the three-pointer. They are down by one. Wow, what a drive that turned out. What a free releaseman like he did before. Wow, MB just gotten slacking them up a bit. He's not done yet. Their team is not defeated yet so far. They only got a couple more games left. If the Bulls win or not, some few games of six and seven if necessary. Levine gets a stump and a foul is released on Embiid. Wow, what a show run. Your killing guy can't be just like him. What a show his run. Walk it one more time here. All he knows, he just like, wham, bam. And he was like all on the floor. Just a perfect, perfect release man. Zach Levine will head to the free throw line to shoot one to tie the game. Find the legs. Find the legs. One shot. Levine ties it up. It's now 22-22. It's now 22 Sixers needs to find another solution to get right around it. Korkmaz back to Harden. Harden right to Millsap. He goes up. Shot denied by Tristan Thompson with a great D. Back to DeRozan. Scores in the paint. DeRozan runs like a champ for impact. Wow, what a show. Air Russell, your name can be the only man if you don't slow him down. Court buys for three. That scores, and this one turns around for a lead off for Philadelphia. Up by one. He rows him back to Levine, back to Thompson. Millsap on him. He rows him, rolls over to Dasamu. Screen again. He goes inside with a two. Releases. And it's Dasamu with another two. Then he gets his second bucket of the game. Korkmaz back to Harden. Back to Korkmaz. Back to Harden. Release been a two. And a shot is getting away from the two-man player on defense. They've already shown up again. They did. All they know that they they really want to stop and slow it down, they really can't help it. D. Rosen makes another layup drive, and this one is another assist by Dalsamu. And now there's two minutes left. Green, back to Harden. Back to Korkmaz. Harden for three to tie it. Yes! He has it all in there, and they're stopping the pressure on the Bulls to make the make the breakdown a 3-0 lead. Well, we'll see what they can do because there is no way that they can definitely try to answer back on the run. But we'll see how they can do. The foul is called on Paul Millsap. His first personal third team foul on Philadelphia. Second team foul. Second team foul in the half. Now 17. And now this turns out to be 3 13 foul for the Philadelphia Sixers. And it will be Levine heading to the free throw line.
His first shot goes in. Now they have one point lead in the effort. Now Niang will be checking in for Millsap as Harris moves over to center. And the Bulls are making some changes too. All five players checked out as Levine moves over to the shooting guard. Now Kobe White will have to try to work his run if he could try to fix it out. Now the timeout is called by Philadelphia. A minute and 27 to go. It's 30 to 28. Chicago lead by two. We'll be right back with this break when we come back. Zach Levine and all the guys have really gotten the hard pressure. There might be no answers on their luck for the Sixers. If they lose another shot, it might be a pullback through. New changes released here for the Bulls. As for this time, it's the A will be helping the team to be on offense and a couple switchback on defense. Harden on the drive and he is all tied up. What a drive in for Harden. Sometimes he knows his best much pursuit like he did to anybody. Williams back to Levine, drives the dunk. He is a lucky player. Wow, are you kidding me? He's like already going back insane. And it's Levine with the dunk as this play was extensive. It's your Zach Levine player to be like Michael Jordan. Of course, Michael Jordan is the only greatest player, but I think Zach Levine can be the next one to be in the Hall of Fame. If not, for, he has to play here for just a couple more, couple more seasons and he has, before he finishes retirement. And that was a slam dunk dunk with a slam cam presented by AT&T. Oh, we go again! Jones Jr. slams it dunk down and they're up by four. Rolling out again. The fourth seeds are in trouble. Harris for deep three. That's still no good. It's Levine with the rebound. Kirkbaz against Levine. 13 seconds, here he goes, just like that. The alley is successful and they're up by six. Harden and the teammates are trying to, trying to face back with another win. Harris, Harden for three. Got it, and this will count by three. Levine can't make the half court shot as the third quarter is ended. It's 36-33. And we have one more quarter left. Those players are really, are really putting up abomination here. Overrated players, just like him. Fourth quarter is next. When we come back, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. And we have a moment now to resist the State Farm assist of the game. I'm pretty sure that those teams of the Bulls have gotten good, worthy credit. Check it out. The alley oop was putting a successful on Jones Jr. And thanks for the help of Vucevic and then Levine with all players. They're putting up a show. Just one more quarter left to play here for the playoffs in the third game. And then we will be sticking up for the next game in the Western Conference in between the matches of Pelicans and Suns at New Orleans. This all turned out to be just like him. And not just him, man, for anybody that are number one seed, they really know that. The three-pointer can't make the shot for Fiebel. Williams, screen on Musevich. Gets a, gets a right around the attacker zone. Finds White. Fiebel on the cover. Screen again on Musevich. He goes inside, over again. Nice D by Matisse Feibel. And it's Maxi with the rebound. He has this first rebound of his game since he was all quiet here, all three quarters. Yeah, I know. But there is not much else, else to say about uh, Tyrese Maxi. but that's all he has need to know from his pressure. Two-pointer can't make the throw. Green, right to white. White against by Tobias Harris. Back to Vucevic. Over on Bible. Another miss by Chicago. They're looking to lose him off the patience on that run. This was like a tricky setup to make. Bible back to Maxi. 
And right now MB decides to take the screen. With the shot, Yeats goes in. Maxi takes a two-point bucket, and this is a trail of one. Yeah, that's a great call because if all all the players are definitely get uh, have a difficulties, they have some time to make a screen on picks. Kobe White makes a three-pointer and releases uh, extensively by four. Nice to see his run. Always know that Kobe White is a veteran. Wow, just got almost got tripped up here with the foul, but Matisse Fibos has made it clean. Yeah, it was him. Always done it just like that. Now the timeout is called by the Bulls with 2.49 to go. It's 39 to 37. And if you're on my channel here for Animation Epic, you can check out the video here as the first part is out. On the calling card, it will be right down there. That turned out to be just like anybody who had watched the Inanime Insanity of each season. But for me, honestly though, I always react because sometimes I want to get in. That might be good for you, which is possible. It might be just anybody who had, you, know, you haven't watched it before. You might, I also would highly recommend to watch the, uh, the uh, last dance here. It is currently on ESPN with the on-demand skills. You can watch it now at any time between the dynamics of the Scotty Pippen, Michael Jordan, then it's uh, Ennis, I forgot, I forgot what I was going to say. Well, go ahead and check it out here. If you're on the cable, just check it out if you'd like to see it. Now the new changes are being released here. It is now a new whack-up change. Three players come off as the end is checked out. And Harden, Maxine Fievel, is checked back in. Caruso up. Solid D on Joel Embiid. And now it's turned off to Maxi. Back to Fievel. Maxi back to Embiid. Maxi back to Fievel. Fievel to tie it. And still can't make the shot open enough for Batiste Fievel. Green against Fievel. Back to DeRozan. Right to Caruso. As the balls are moving their way around the pressure. Tossing her up. Just like they did. So Marius Harris scores his walk of this run. He's like already got deep in the paint, but no answer has already regarded on them for the Sixers to make it back in transition. The Bulls still have some pressure along the way to go. They might be looking for some uh, defensive breakdown if they are going back onside. Embiid right to Bible. Back to Embiid. Back to Harden. Harden rolling around here on Dasimu. Embiid outside. Fievel thinking of three to tie it. Yes, sir. He just did. And it's all tied up now. Fievel receiving another three-pointer for the Sixers as they answer back with a less three-point percentage. It's not just only him. It just really gets him off, off out of the lane. And he can't make it in time. It's the Moosey bitch with the standing crush. Oh, uh, here comes Embiid. He dunks it across. Wow, he wants to stop and hold up the pressure here. Embiid on a run. My goodness, and Joel Embiid's already have just got, got, a, got a strength out here. It looks like he is trying to, like, he's not trying to quit. He wanted to go for it. And another drive for Goosey Bench. This is banging up to be a troublemaking in the history. And yes it is. Just like we have done, but you can't lose their grounds. Harden to tie it. And he makes it in one. It's another scoring drive for Harden. And a foul is on Dosimu. Oh boy, it looks like the Bulls are not happy with all the behaviors here in game three. They're going to need to try to make it loud and go roll. Zach Levine checked in for Green as Harden will have one shot remaining to take the lead. Harden makes the first, and now they're up the lead. 
they need to believe to be out there to, uh, to retrieve. Levine on Feibel. On cover in pursuit of Feibel. Trying to stop the man. Back to DeRozan. Back to the Levine. Sixers on the pursuit. They are trying to work around a bit. And foul! Called on Embiid, and this will be a full personal. Another team foul on Philadelphia. Levine is going right back in the paint. He knows he can definitely handle it. But all this pressure was on Ben Bede. It was too much to make the resist. That was not just better at all. He was getting a little bit wound up. And that was his, his time to shine in for Levine. First free throw is in. He's looking for his courage career to try to lead it up again the second time to third time. Levine up, and he makes the second. They now have the one point lead strategy to take the, the defense to offense to try to work their attack. Five on the maxi, back to MB. Screen on Feibel. Back to Feibel. In the lead. He does it again. Oh my goodness. This is like this comeback rally for the Sixers. And they are just gotten better. Timeout is called by Chicago with 22.2 seconds in the regulation period. I don't understand it, but this looks like MB just really got caught on a bit. They found a great man on open drive. They've really gotten better at it. Oh man. I am just can't believe it how they did. They have definitely just pulling back in the game and not quitting here. They want to move it on. And I agree. Sometimes the players get very in, in the transition to make that one a true remarkable on his career. But most of all, it just really gotten better. And here are the, the comparisons in between. 13 rebounds for the Sixers, 12 for the Bulls, 15 for the Bulls, 19 for Sixers, one steal, and two turnovers. Only one and one steal turned to be on the Bulls with a turnover and a steal. Let's present the New Balance player of the game, as this all goes out to James Harden, the beer man. Beer man knows his best. His running effort is like nowhere on the high. He knows his rule, but for playing a point guard position, he can play hard, he can try to try to concentrate with the players to look at open passes or shots, and sometimes he wants to get right into defense to try to help the run. Knock him down and all over. 20 seconds to go. Levine in drop it. No shot regained, and this will stop the clock here at 14.1 seconds as Vucevic is fouled. This first personal foul is not always for gaining the, uh, underneath the lineup that they had, but if all that happens to be Harden, it just really stand out the shock. His first free throw is sent in. One more to go. And a second free throw is good for Harden. It's 51-48. They may have some time right now, but this may be a very uh, uh, ball out of shot this, but they might be very hard to get there. Levine can't make the three. And oh boy, that was out of luck. And the foul is put up on Dosimu, his second personal third team foul on Chicago Bulls. And Tyrese Maxey will head to the free throw line to shoot two. This all really uh, have gotten uh, out of a tight situation in between those teams. But all with that, the the Bulls have their uh, have the pressure. It looks like they have the overrated players, but the Sixers have some overrated players. But some of them are traded. If he makes one in, it will be game. It will be the end of the game for the Bulls.
and Maxi hits two free throws, and that's it. The Bulls got got beaten by the by the Sixers, 53 to 48. That was a tough range of this course. All it happened here, it was just a tough game that they played here so far. Two wins for the Bulls at Philadelphia, and now the win in Chicago for the Sixers. And a chance now to catch up on the sideline, David Aldridge. David, take it away. Thanks very much, James. You have seen every type of defense from opponents over the years. What do you enjoy about that back and forth challenge? I just every single game trying to figure out what they're doing and how can I uh, be aggressive in attacking. You know, I love playing in the basketball. I love you know, being crafty and, and just trying to compete at a high level every single night. You know, it takes a lot, but I'm built for it and uh, we just continue to keep going. Well, you won the chess match tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. As for all, it turns out to be that it's now a Sixers on the board, 2-1, as the Bulls still in the lead of the series. We will see them return in Game 4 after all Game 3 matchups are complete. But that's all that changes from here to today. It's time to present the three star players of the game, starting with OJ. Number 3, right now, this all has happened. It was a shock, belief, disappointment effort. It turned out to be just like that. But this one goes out to Joel Embiid. 10 points and just 6 rebounds here in the game. 3 assists, 1 turnover. Not just like him, but that. But he really got 2 dunks here, just like he did before. I'm pretty sure that the process will keep going from his time to time from the range. Now to me, phone number 2. Number two, this all turns to be Zach Levine. 18 points, one rebound, two assists, and only three dunks have already been down and out of here. He's like already a muscle move. He was the strongest, fastest bull here in the, in the court. Not for anybody, but only for him. Now let's take your, have your take on number one. My take of number one, that goes out to James Harden, the New Balance player of the game. 15 points, 3 rebounds, and 3 assists, and just a turnover that releases him from the offside that turned out to be pulled over. But not for him, for, for all the questionings of uh, James Harden. He's concerned to play with the Sixers for next season if the team makes it or lose the, lose the playoff of the se season. And they will be coming back here for next season. Well, that's it for today. As for all the crews, me, OJ, and me phone are out. This has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs, a great hustle work here of the fourth and fifth seed battle. Next time, we will see the Pelicans and the Suns. That will be happening here on Friday on my channel. Make sure to subscribe, because if you don't, somebody will. I've seen all of you who have not subscribed to my channel. And for those of you who are new here, make sure to subscribe. Sometimes returning subscribers are not that happy. Maybe this is what happens that gets me furious all of a sudden. Well, don't get yourself too furious out there, okay? Okay, well, I'll try to calm it down. And with that, thank you for watching. Until next time, peace out everyone for us a while as the NBA playoffs of the NBA 2K22 dial. Thank you for watching, and see you all next time. Take care, folks. Good night in Chicago.